This is a 3D printing technique I've been using for about two years now. I've alluded to it in a past uh, 3D printing chairs video. I'll put the link in the description. This is 3D printing with hold down. So the first layer, it has tabs. And then uh, from there on out, this, this version is in vase mode. But this helps hold down the print. See, cold plastic wants to shrink and the corners want to bend up. But this helps hold it down. Normally there's a heated bed, but this large bed, it's unheated. Heated, heated is uh, complicated because there's additional circuitry needed, but this is very simple. So in some cases I need a little extra extension to get under and I use a little aluminum plate here. Otherwise there'd be a collision with the hold down. But it's very simple. I have this large bed with all these hold down uh, holes all over, kind of like you use for milling, and it's effective. Um, it's great for large objects. This is in vase mode, and I uh, just thought I'd share it. Anybody can use it. Oh, it looks like we have a little extra height coming down here. This 3D printing hold down technique can be very useful, but if you're going to pause the print and uh, or home the axis, you do need to be worried about collisions. For example, right here, I had the, I paused this, and the extruder was moving in this direction until it was ju just starting to hit this, and I had to press the E stop. So you got to think about that ahead of time. We are mid print, three millimeter nozzle, two millimeter layer height, two hundred degrees. Celsius. Here they are, the multicolored chairs. This whole chair is printed in vase mode, and to achieve the tab and hold down, the first layer has these things that jut out here, so that the STL file has these. The, uh, this is all made in Fusion 360, and then uh, you know the extruder goes here, 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 and it creates a tab. And uh, then the rest is just a, a vase mode, vase mode outline. Well, that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you can use this or find this useful for 3D printing, especially with your prints that pick up around the edges. Take care.